You build, build, now we're caught in the avalanche. I'm just working up to uh, lots of reps today. I'm gonna do either a four by eight or a five by eight, just depending on how I feel at like 365. I think that's like 65% of my max, just like just basically getting work in. But uh, we got a good group of people today. Uh, we got a lot of young dudes, uh, some guys in from the uh, summit that are staying in town for a little while extra, just hanging out and training. Got these two, uh, Dylan and Ricky, both strong kids that I have come out here. Like, big thing is the whole pass on part. Uh, I really think just having people come out and like experience different calibers of lifters, it's good for everybody, including us. Uh, Tony Montgomery is out here along with his wife, Kaylee. I think they're married, um, but they're both out here. I'm excited to see Tony train. I've never trained with him before, so it's, it's gonna be fun. I, he's, he's a real good dude. I'm glad he's on the team and my dad's here too. So. Uh, He's hanging out because he's been driving me around because I can't drive because of the recent eye surgery that I had. So we're just hanging out. We're just getting some work in today. I went to adjust my glasses, but I don't have my glasses on. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Reps, reps, reps. Tony Montgomery here, guys. So, doing uh, some dynamic lower body work today. Uh, focusing, this phase of training is just gonna be mostly still dynamic work along with hypertrophy work. Uh, just finished up some GPP work with the dynamic stuff. So now the next phase of training is keeping the dynamic aspect, trying to build up as much speed as possible, rate of force development. Um, that's one of the areas I lack in. So. Focusing on that, but then also focusing on hypertrophy, trying to put on as much size as I can. Don't compete until October, so this will be the next six to eight weeks of uh, training, focusing on that, and then transition into a strength phase. Can you cue me to say lat? just say lats? lats? Like when you're yelling at me, say lats or say like tight lats or tight or something. Okay, never mind, Dylan, Jesus Christ. I'm basically, I need to work harder to keep my lats okay. tight. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, all right. Understood. Stay tight. Good. Lats. Good. Lats in the bottom. Good. Thank you. Yeah, yes, good, thank you. I've been doing some form of pull-ups every day uh, just because of the prep for the fire department. Um, just wanting to get really good at those. Plus, that has been a big, uh, damn it, that's been a uh, big, big help with my grip strength because I've always dealt with grip issues uh, on deadlifts. And since switching to hook grip and basically training my grip every day, it's been getting better. So just stuff like that. Eight sets. Uh, two more to go. 60 second rest in between sets. Just trying to build up as much capacity as possible during this time frame too. So instead of doing cardio, just minimize your rest, get less fat, get less gross. If you're doing box squats, trying to work your hamstrings and glutes. You want to sit back further. Don't compare it to a free squat. You got to treat like a completely different exercise to work the muscles you're trying to work. Always think about targeting muscles, not necessarily what exercise to do. You know, I never pick exercises to build up weak areas. I pick muscles to target to build them up and then find the exercises that hit those muscles. Basically right now I'm just in an accumulation phase. So I'm just doing a lot of volume per session and a lot of total workload per session. So my down sets are set up as three, three sets of 12, but I'm doing touch and go and I'm actually worse at touch and go. I'm like worse at maintaining that uh, tension throughout the whole movement, but it generally has a real good carryover for me, but I'm just gonna have to go lighter to get that three by 12.
like it. It's nice. A lot of belt squats, you bottom out. Can't get that full range. This one, you're able to get full range. Um, so it's, it's nice. You know, I may, as it gets heavier, have to build up a platform to unrack it because it's a little bit tall for me. I'm not that tall of a guy, so I would definitely like readjust this pin setting if it was mine, which is nice because it gives you that option too. Most of them don't. So that's the flexibility of what you can do with this machine is just endless, it's nice. So kind of just to wrap up the, the training session, I uh, did some belt squats, which was speed, uh, speed squats, sorry, which was more hamstring glute dominant, focusing on that rate of force development, uh, which is my main weakness, which is why I do it first. Then decided to do some belt squats. Uh, you'll notice knees are traveling far forward, get more quads involved. And then from there, I'll finish up with some more posterior chain stuff, glute ham raises, maybe reverse hypers, and then some extra quad stuff, super high volume, like 20 to 30 reps with leg extensions and some abs and call it a day. So most of the stuff from here on out is more bodybuilding focus and hypertrophy stuff.